So question, question 12 says, look at the diagram for question 12 and in the separate diagram booklet, the diagram is not drawn to scale. In the diagram, A, E is equal to B, D. Uh, oh, A, E and B, D are straight lines and B, C is equal to C, E. Is it possible to conclude that the triangles A, B, C and D, E, C are congruent? You must show all your workings and explain your decision. Okay, let's jump straight in. You know that um, to determine congruence, you have to decide um, whether side, side, side are equal or side, angle, side, you've got two sides and one angle, uh, or you've got an angle, angle, equal, and a side, or a right-hand side, a right angle, hypotenuse, and, and one side, equal. Yeah. So let's look at this, this situation and determine which rule can work for this one. So we got this... Um, we got this triangle and this triangle and this one here right here is um 65 and 83 so of course you know that angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees so you can determine uh what the missing angle here is first of all yeah so um you know that bc is equal to um ce okay so that side um <coughs> angle a b angle a b c therefore would be equal to um 180 minus 65 minus 83 degrees and that's going to give you uh 32 degrees and you always have to write your reason okay that is angles in a triangle okay um so this angle here would be 32 degrees now um you determine that one angle is equal to this angle so that's two angles equal two sides equal and the last thing that we want to do now is determine whether this angle here is equal to that one then we can use the angle side angle because then we have this angle this side and this angle equal on both triangles okay so um could that angle be equal to the other one let's have a look angle b c a is equal to angle e c d and why do i say so because they are vertically opposite. If this line, if this is equal to this, then those two are vertically opposite angles, which means they must be equal. Oh. And you have to write your reason behind every step. Okay, so that's why I'm making sure I'm writing every single reason. And once you got those three points, you've got the sides equal, you got these angles equal and these angles equal yeah then that's all you, you can then say that therefore yeah triangle a b c and triangle d e c are congruent and uh, once you've written that you have to write your reason angle side angle and that's it okay how many marks was that question oh i don't even know where how many marks that is well yeah that's it that's how you do it 